plus EV plays that you need to be on. What's going on, guys? My name is Billy C. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to hop into Odds Jam tool and smash some positive expected value bets to fill your pockets with cash. Come on, let's go. Happy Monday, guys. Welcome back. So uh, my name is Billy C. And I like to create uh, educational content uh, helping you as a gambler make money. And I love to make money and bet on sports. And I love using Odds Jam's tools, right? They really help me out and they help give me an edge. And so I like to share in these videos some plays that I'm on for today and kind of explain to you why. And it's going to be different than maybe some other videos because I'm not going to tell you a bunch of statistics or trends about the player or the, the game. I'm going to just break down the data and why I like the play. So without further ado, let's hop into it. You see my Twitter up here. Feel free to slide in my DMs, ask me any questions or comment in the video. If you have questions or you're interested in Odds Jam and their tools and you maybe haven't taken the plunge yet, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Because also, if you use my promo code Billy20, I'll say it'll save you 20% off every month of your plan, whichever one you pick when you sign up with. So don't pay full price, guys. Use my code, save yourself 20%. So we're on the plus EV tool here. And the first play that I really like today is Freddy Peralta, over five and a half strikeouts. You can see Fliff here. We're getting at minus 115, right? The no vig fair odds is minus 119. Has market width of around 32 cents. But the biggest reason why we like this play is because all the other sports books here, and I'm out in Arizona, right? They all have this average odds are around minus 134. You can see like Caesars has this as high as minus 146. And we're getting this at minus 115 for Fliff, right? So if we wanted to make a $100 profit, you'd have to bet $146 on Caesars to make 100 bucks, where we only have to bet $115 on Fliff, right? So it's awesome in that regard that Fliff, which is a newer sports book in the last month or two, um, their odds makers, well, as you can see, they see it differently. I think they're a bunch of idiots, which is great for us because we get a lot of value. We get a lot of opportunities. So this is the first play that I'm on. And I'm going to share my screen to share my ticket because uh, Fliff doesn't have a, a desktop website. So I'm going to uh, show you my phone here real quick to show you that I'm on this play. and I'm not just full of BS. Be right back. All right. So first play. Here it is. Freddie Peralta over five and a half strikeouts. The max that Fliff will let me bet is $250. So that's what I put down on this play. On to play number two. All right, play number two, Diamondbacks, A's, over nine and a half. Once again, as you can see, a lot of the sports books here have this, the average odds plot around plus 113. I mean, if you only had a Caesars account, case in point again, you can only get this at plus 102. So if we bet 100 bucks, you'd win $102, where if we had a Hard Rock account and you had a bet 100 bucks, you'd get 125 bucks. So a difference of $23, which obviously if you're betting more than $100, then that's an even bigger return that you're going to get by just having Hard Rock. So you want to have as many sportsbook accounts as you possibly can. I'm not going to sit here and tell you statistics, statistics about why the pitching staff for the A's and the Diamondbacks are trash, and I think there's just going to be an explosion of runs tonight, right? When you're getting a better price than the market price and we're getting a better price than the fair price, that is how we have an edge consistently time in and time again. So that's why I like this play so much because no other sports book out where I live is offering anywhere close to plus 125. An offshore book here at plus 120, but that's it. So we're on this play. Took a little screenshot here because, again, Hard Rock does not have a, hard, a desk, desktop. Okay. So right here, over nine and a half, I put 175 on it. That's little over half of a unit for me. My unit size is $275. The reason that I only put 150 is because even though I love this play and we're getting an edge and good value, it's still just plus 121 is the fair odds. And when you go over this calculator here at Odds Jam, all odds are associated with a win probability. So this has a 45% chance of hitting, right? So I don't bet the mortgage on this play, right? But I still want to be exposed to this for sure. So I like to put here 55% of one unit for me. So a little over half of one unit on this play. So there's pick number two. Let's go to pick number three. All right. Last play for tonight. 
Over eight runs, Brewers Cardinals, a site called Bet Openly. It's a peer-to-peer site, right? Where I can go in, I can make and create a line for a game that I want to bet, and then someone can take that action. I can be the house, or in this case, someone's already po- posted this bet, and we're going to take the action. We like this play again because Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world, says over eight's minus 111, so it's a slight favorite, and we can get it at plus 103 on Bet Openly, right? Not a ton of edge because it's a 1% play. But guys, when I show you my returns on the one to one and a half percent, which I'll show you here at the end of the video, which you won't want to miss, um, you're going to see where I make the bulk of my money. So I got it pulled up here on bed openly and we're actually getting better odds. OK, and I can place one hundred and fifty dollars on this because the person can choose however many uh, bets they can they want to place. So over eight plus one oh five. Boom. Max, I can bet. And there it is. We're locked in for 150 bucks on the over eight on the Cardinal Brewers game. And that's bet openly. But we actually got here on my bet tracker at Odds Jam. It's a free bet tracker. I highly recommend you use it uh, right here. Get it at plus 105. So I just adjust the odds. Um, the one thing about bet openly, if you leave a note in the comments, is that if I do win this bet, um, I do have to pay a 1% fee. It's kind of how they go. So I, I pay a small fee. So that's where the odds possibly are adjusted because if Odds Jam is saying, hey, if you win this bet, you know, you're know you basically getting a plus one of the three because of the little bit of fee percentage that you have to pay. But I still put it in as it's plus 105, and um, I'll adjust it if, if we win. So the last bet uh, that you saw earlier, this, this Angels-Orioles, this would be another one that I would be on. Uh, we'll take a look here, a little bonus bet for you guys. Over eight plus 108 on this uh, Orioles-Angels. I only have 66 bucks. Uh, so the guy that's taking the action here, as you can see, is only allowing $25.45. But I'll place a bet for it. I mean, it's it's I'll do the max. Um, who wasn't who doesn't want to win $28? Uh, it's obviously well below my unit size, but for the sake of the video here right now, I'll let you know what I'm on. We're gonna also go over eight on this Angels Orioles game right now. So those are the plays. Uh, I'm gonna lock this in again for what was I believe $25.45. And then I'm going to come back and show you why I love these low 1% plays. Okay, so we're back. So uh, I keep track of all my bets, whether they're straight wagers or parlays, whatever the case may be. This is for my straight wagers only that I keep track of. And I'm more than happy to uh, share this link with you guys so that you can have your own copy if you want that for yourself. But since I rejoined with Odds Jam on Halloween of last year, um, this is a breakdown of all the bets that I make that are straight wagers and the EV percentage, right? And then all the total bets that I've placed. And this is just kind of a great example of over the long run, right? 3,300 bets I've made since October, how much money I've made. So I would focus more uh, not on column I, not because it's the loss column, but really it would be column E and column G because the total amount of money that I bet and then the amount that I won, and then the difference really gives us that 16000 But as you can see, out of $16,000 that I've made, the 1 to 1.14%, the EV plays, right, that what we just showed you there, the 1% bet we made on the Cardinals Brewers and the Angels Orioles over today, I've made $7,700 off of that category, okay? So I don't want you to sleep on the low 1% because they can make you a lot of money. So – and this, in the case here for the three percents, right? You'd say, "Well, Billy, you're not doing so well there." And I like to think of this as just early on, the coin hasn't flipped my way. As I start to bet more and more, and I get these numbers up to the three hundreds, the four hundreds, the five hundreds, I like to think that this will change eventually. That was the same case with the two percents. It took some time, but we're getting there now, where it's positive. So. Um, This is just something I like to keep track of. Also, then I have the same table, but just not broken out as much. So just one, two, three, four, five. So same thing. But, um, you know, this is a great reminder for me. If I'm if I have a two or three day losing streak in a row, I like to come back to this page and be like, you're going to have to place a lot of bets over the long haul. You become profitable. You're going to have some tough days here and there. But over the long run. This is what positive EV betting has done for me, and it can definitely do it for you. So that's where we're going to end the video today, guys. Um, feel free, like I said, you're more, more than happy. Just reach out to me on Twitter. 
slide in my DMs if you have questions or if things aren't working for you, or if maybe you're looking at certain things and you want to give my opinion, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Um, if you like this kind of content, leave a thumbs up. If you don't like it, leave a thumbs down and tell me why you don't like it. Be more than happy to hear why. And if you want to see other videos or different types of content when it comes to odds jamming the tools and the betting, uh, you know, whether it's more prize picks, which I know people are, uh, that really enjoy or it's straight wagers. And I, I share with you step by step. I am going to be doing a live stream here and I'll make sure to be uh, to, to blast it out on Twitter to let you know when I'm going to run it. So, you know, when the schedule happens. So, you know, we can sit down, you can come join the stream with me and watch how I make my bets and my plays kind of like what we're doing now, but we'll do it for an extended period of time. All right. So until next time, guys, hope you're having a great Monday. Thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you in the next video.